Hello and welcome back to episode 60 part 2. Um, I didn't realise it was going to be a two part episode, I do apologise for that, but uh, there is just a bit too much information left to cover to uh, go over the 30 minute mark, so it's natural or normal that we carry on with a second part to the episode anyway. So carrying on from exactly where I was in the previous episode, you'll notice that, I'll just refresh your knowledge, when we used our pendulum, There's a false reading for you, so let's use the pendulum again. <laughs> How funny is that? There is a 25% chance it will be a failed false message. Let's try using it again. Oh wow, that's four, five. There you go. Well, let that be a very good example to you with the pendulum. I am just so glad that I was able to show that to you. Because Wormpedia and me in the previous episode said to you, get used to doing it twice. Well, I would say to you now, in the vein of this series being thorough, you will do it six or seven times, um, if need be, because that's how long it can take you before you get the correct answer. So just be very wary of that, okay? When detect divining for water, unless your pendulum is 50 quality, okay? If it's anything under 50 quality, you may need to try up to 10 times before you get a correct answer. Now, before making this episode, I did do a trial run, and I know this is taking us off in this direction, which will be good for my forge, but you know what? The water could be down in the mine. I don't want to go there in this episode. I want to stay above ground, because the reason that I was doing this episode is to find water source near my oven. So what we will do is we will go nearer to the... Um, we'll go to about here. And now we'll try the pendulum again. So that other water source is off in that direction. But I want to find one nearer to my oven. So we come nearer to the oven. In fact, let's come to the oven. And let's try from my oven. Because this is where I want to get one there. So we will use it. Right, okay, good. There's an accurate. So here we go. I've found another water source. There are many. Do not be fooled. If you want one in your cattle pen, divine for one there. If you want one at the other end of your deed, divine for one there. There are many hidden water sources. So, we're now on the path to one for our oven. So, now we can try all four directions. But, I will, in the sake of speeding this video up, I will step one in the right, in the right direction which is I know this way. So we'll step one tile. We will now use our pendulum again. Notice now, because we've now stepped in the right direction, we get the message the pendulum is starting to move. That's telling you, you've now got a step closer to the, see here's one problem about having lots of people playing when you're doing tutorials. The, the event window will get spammed up and become difficult if you want to show some people of you yourselves your good selves if i want to show each and every good one of you the messages it becomes a little more difficult but that's because roman is being a lovely guy and helping out with the farm right now so anyway we got that near a message let's show you it uh, again so you can see Hopefully it won't go to... A, no, yeah, there we are. The pendulum is starting to move. If I would have gone this way instead of that way, so if I would have went south instead of north and tried, the pendulum seems dead. Yeah, it could be a false message, but I'll tell you now, we've gone the wrong way, so it's right in this instance. So there's the new one tile we went to. What we will do now is step another tile in this direction because if you're on a roll keep with it 
as in if we're we're good on this direction let's stay with it and see if the messages change so we will now use it again the pendulum is starting to move right okay it's the same as the last message but it's not a negative it's not telling us it's dead it's not telling us it's not reverted back to the message where it said it can sense it you know the very first the second one that you can get so we'll go another tile we will now use it again the pendulum is swinging in a circle there is probably a water source in the ground nearby that's telling us now we're within two tiles of the water source in fact let's go back to Wormpedia just to check that yeah so we're very close we're within two tiles of the water source what we will now do is we will go another tile in this direction we will use it again okay so we're still within the two tiles we will go another one and use it it's still swinging in a circle another one it's still swinging in a circle so another one that's really weird and strange let me just check something yep you know what we are still within two tiles of it so let's go another one because it could be over here or over here but it can't be if you think logically because when we was right back there over there and over there cannot be within two tiles of it because we were further back so let's see what happens in this tile see so it's reverted back to the message we got before we've gone too far so what we will do is we will turn around and we will go back two tiles so we know that starting from back there we got to here we're now within two tiles going forwards to there we are too far that leaves us, if we think logically, and I know Treebeard doesn't do that a lot in his episodes, but he's trying to make it up to you by making it easier for you finding water, leaves us two choices. Either this water source is to the east, or it is to the west. I'm going to ask you a question, and I don't expect you to know the answer, but just for a bit of fun. Which direction is our water source, do you believe? Is it east or is it west? Well, let's go one tile to the east. Let's now use our pendulum. The pendulum is starting to move, so we have lost our swinging in the circle. There we go, that's now made it very easy for you. Let's see who was right. Of course, it now means it's in the west direction. I hope you're all following with this and it makes complete sense to you. If not, just watch the video again. And I'm sure even in my ineptness, even with all my incompetency, I hopefully have achieved this one goal of showing you how to use the pendulum. So what we will do, here's where we were. Let's check our pendulum now. We know what it should say, swings in a circle. Yep, swing in a circle. We will now step to the tree let's use it again now oh here we go the pendulum swings rapidly back and forth you are close to a water source we are one tile away from our water source so what we will do is we will walk one more tile let's check the pendulum again bingo there we are that is exactly what we wanted to see. The pendulum now swings frantically. There is something here. What that means, there is a water source under this tile. So now what we need to do then is we need to put something to collect it in. As luck would have it, this tree, which is going to get chopped down as soon as it gets to overaged because it's in my crop field or our crop field, it will for the moment act as a landmark for us a brilliant landmark so it's 
right next to our water source tile because to make the fountain that's what we're going to make we need rock shards let's go get the wagon let's give Roman a wave just so he doesn't think I'm ignoring him um, we want to do a nice Hello, how are you <laughs> he's obviously very busy so there we are lovely guy you'll find if you join us Hello, here how are you you will find some of the nicest people you've ever played a game with don't take gamesters word for it win a competition and come out and try and prove me wrong and join us because you will see there are a lovely bunch of people playing on this server i can tell you that now okay so i've got the wagon in the wagon as luck would have it i have got some rock shards we are going to build an, 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 an ornate fountain why not if we're going to bother to do something let's do it in style and for me the most beautiful fountain is the ornate one and it's a functional one because it can fill with water but don't take my word for it we're going to switch to the wonderful wormpedia and read what it says about the ornate fountain description a low stone fountain with a basin wide enough to sit in not that we want to of course but you might want to it can hold 1125 liters of water and food so there you go when you cook your meals for your village or your settlement put the food in the fountain with the water fountains will fill automatically when placed above underground water sources which can be found by divining for water yep that's what I've just shown you notes once built it usually takes around 15 minutes for the fountain to fill there you go when we read Wormpedia it says 10 minutes when we read Wormpedia um, for the fountain it says 15 minutes so don't worry the fact remains up to 15 minutes the fountain will fill with water you're going to see this I want to show you that so hopefully it will be I don't know maybe I can't I can't expect you to sit and watch a video for 10 minutes waiting for water to appear that would be even extreme by gamester style Ga gamester standards okay finishing off the notes an ornate fountain cannot be picked up when finished only moved with the push pull commands 12 kilograms of shards are consumed on a failed attempt that's why I've got plenty of rock shards in my cart <clears throat> okay let's now start now this skill of making the fountain is going to use the stone cutting fortunately I have um, with my stone cutting if we take a look if I can find my masonry there it is my stone cutting is good it's on 59 nearly 60 so there we go right so we will go into the tile a bit because we don't want the fountain off the tile but we want it definitely in it so a slight bit into the tile so it appears we can push pull it into place okay we will then grab a load of rock shards now for the fountain you need to have a minimum of 132 kilograms worth of rock shards in order to make the fountain so how lucky is that I can carry 140 kilograms but if I fail I will need to possibly add more rock shards so we'll combine these together there we go we now have our desired quantity our weight okay let's use the crafting window though because I do like it okay so we want ornate fountain there we go so we need our stone chisel and rock shards let's add that to the crafting window and now let's create and there we are there is on ornate fountain how simple was that I know my skill is high but even if you fail it's only rock shards goodness sake you'll be getting loads of them from your mind okay that's good enough for me in that tile do you see how it gets positioned but anyway look at that beauty isn't that nice a unicorn I'm Un not unlike the ones we had in the our hunting trip so there we go beautiful fountain fit nicely within this tile if we open it up and have a look there is no water yet you will need to wait between 10 and 15 minutes 
for this to fill with water. I do not expect you or wish you to sit there and watch this video for another 10 to 15 minutes to see the fountain fill up with water. So what I will do is just check if there was anything else I needed to say to you. Okay, so, no, there isn't really. So let's just conclude this episode by saying, okay, we started off, we made a pendulum, we then went, we then went divining for water, we found water, we have now built this fountain, fountain on top of the water source, and in the next episode, I will try to show, remember to show you the fountain with water in it. Maybe I should have just waited and just shown you, but no. That surely would be the quickest way to get rid of viewers and subscribers by making them sit and watch something progress like that. Okay, there we are, there we have it. One last thing I will say to you is this. Who do you think now has to push and pull that oven, that FSB and that BSB and possibly that incorrect wood floor loom and that other BSB over to the fountain? Oh yes, the gamester's landed himself right in it. He's going to now need to spend about half an hour getting all of that stuff over here by my glorious fountain. But isn't it a beauty? Behold a vision of joy. Our glorious water fountain. No more trudging down to the sea. Right, wherever you are in the world, God bless you. And take care of and keep every single last one of you safe. Have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Goodbye.